Once we finished unloading our ship in Ascension Island, we received word that we'd be loading in Dakar, Senegal, which is only about a five day transit from Ascension Island. Heading to Dakar was pretty last minute. We weren't really sure what to expect when we got there. You hear all kinds of crazy rumors about customs, inspections they're gonna do, COVID protocol, how long we're gonna be here. But that's the fun part about being on a tramping ship. Never a dull moment, that's for sure. Sometimes, when you take on a tug to assist in mooring, think to yourself, do we really need this tug? Well, let me tell you, coming into Dakar in this berth, we definitely needed the tug. After a very interesting arrival, we were finally all tied up in Dakar. <sighs> all right, so we just pulled into Dakar. It seems like a complete shit show here, to say the least. Um, the pilot was super last minute. Uh, he didn't tell us the orders for mooring. Um, there's like rundown ships everywhere. Uh, once we tied up, like a thousand people poured on and it was like customs, guys trying to sell shit. It's just the madhouse here. Um, but the good news is they load 24 hours a day around the clock and we aren't gonna fill the tanks up that much. Um, so hopefully we'll only be here for like a couple days, maybe two or three days, hopefully the max. But yeah, loading in Dakar. After we were all fast and they started loading the cargo, a couple of us were able to sneak off and check out what the car had to offer. Come on, you have to say, 
Unbelievable. After a fun night out, it was time to get to work. Gangway watch in Africa. Because it's such a crazy port, pretty much my whole day is sitting at the gangway, making sure no riffraff come on. Even though there was a bunch of riffraff yesterday, but yeah, not too bad. So we were loading Ilumnite sand. It's a super fine, light black powder, but also extremely dense and heavy. The stuff seriously got everywhere. So let's talk about some fun Ilumnite facts. Ilumnite is the most important ore of titanium and the main source of titanium dioxide which is in everything. Paints, fabrics, plastics, paper, all kinds of stuff. But none of that mattered to me. All I could think about was how big of a pain on the ass this is gonna be to clean off the deck. The one super nice thing about loading here is they have this mobile conveyor belt. It takes them about 15, 20, 30 minutes to move, but it's nice because we don't have to shift the ship. We stay put and they move the loader up and down the dock. Loading around the clock, these guys, 24 hours a day, which is awesome because we're almost done. The one good thing about the cargo being so dense is we barely had to put any in the holds before we hit our weight limit. All loaded up. Cargo's all done, finished up the stowaway search, just waiting for the pilots. Now we can get the hell out of here. You know, at first I was pretty upset when I found out we were coming to the car. It wasn't part of the plan, we were just supposed to head back north and I was supposed to go home. But after spending some time here, I'm happy we came. Senegal was never a place where I thought I'd visit. And I probably will never be back here. But I got to see the city, try some local beers, and meet some cool people. And that's an experience I'll have forever. And considering in 11 days, 
we'd be bringing our new cargo up to Norway. God only knows what's in store up there. Have I mentioned that I have the best job in the world? If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.